All right, sections three and four will deal with adding and subtracting polynomials, respectively. We start with adding. So you're going to see a lot of parentheses in this section, and they are merely to separate the polynomials. So for example, this first example is telling us to take the trinomial, 8x squared minus 2x plus 3, and add the binomial, 9x minus 5. Now, in the grand scheme of things, this is kind of silly. Because these parentheses, when it's addition between them, are more or less entirely pointless. And when I say more or less, I mean completely and utterly. This first example is the exact same thing as 8x squared minus 2x plus 3 plus 9x minus 5. Okay. The plus on the 9x is not because of the plus in between them. It's because the 9x is positive, And that's why it's minus 5. And if I strip away the parentheses, this is just combining like terms from last section. So there's a single thing that has x squared, so it gets to just come along for free. There are two terms that have x, the negative 2x and positive 9x. So negative 2 plus 9 is positive 7x. And then the two number parts, positive 3 and negative 5, which combine to make negative 2. I am going to go through this section probably a little faster than I have sections 1 and 2, because really this is just section 2. So let's talk for a second. Do I even need to rewrite this without the parentheses? No. I can just look and say, okay, I have CD squareds, I have CDs, and I have numbers. So let's put them together. CD squareds first, because they have the most exponents. In the first set of parentheses, I have a negative 3 CD squared. In the second set of parentheses, I have a negative 7 CD squared. Negative 3 and negative 7 combine to make negative 10. And those are CD squareds. Now look at my CDs. I have negative 2 CD in the first set of parentheses. There's a positive 9 CD in the second set. Negative 2 and 9 is 7, positive 7 CD. And I have a positive 5 and a negative 5 as far as number terms go. And they cancel. Positive 5 minus 5 is 0. No need to write plus 0. The solution here is negative 10 CD squared plus 7 CD. Okay. And we can expand this into multiple sets of parentheses, and we still pretty much get to go with who cares? The parentheses are entirely pointless. So here, in this next example, there are parts that have AB squared, there are parts that have A, and there are parts that are numbers. So you heard me say the parts, we're going to combine them, starting with the AB squareds. There's one AB squared in the first set of parentheses. There are two AB squareds, because it says two AB squared in the second set, so that is combined three AB squareds. Next up are my A's. I have three A in the first set, three A in the second set, and 2a in the third set, they're all positive, so 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 8. So there are 8a's. And as far as plain numbers go, we have a negative 2 and a positive 4. When those get put together, it's positive 2. Next example. That's really nice because they even line everything up for us. There are a squareds in the first spot, there are a's in the second, and numbers by themselves in the third. That makes putting these together pretty easy. A squareds, I have 4 and 5. That means I have 9. For the A's, I have 3 and 2. That means I have 5. And for the numbers by themselves, I have 1 and 3. That means I have 4. And lastly here, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. So this one might be you know, a good time for me to break out the highlighters again. So a squared b squared has the most exponents, and there is only the one that has all of that. 
So after that, I'm going to look for exponents. I'm only seeing exponents on these a squareds. And then there are some of these. There's one in each that has an a and a b. And there are these numbers all in their lonesomes. So now that I've gone through and marked off all like terms, we just have to combine. So we start with the biggest set of exponents. That's the a squared b squared pair, and that's by itself, so it has nothing to combine with. Next up are my a squareds. I have two, and one more is three. And I apologize, when I highlighted the two a squared, I didn't get its plus sign. I really should have. Next up would be the a b. We have negative 5, minus 3 is negative 8, plus 6 is minus 2 of those, so minus 2 ABs. And then we have the number by itself, negative 2 and 1 is negative 1. So this section is almost identical to section 2. It's just there's going to be parentheses here that we don't really need. The parentheses will be important, unfortunately, in the next section, so I can't just say always ignore parentheses. There must be a plus sign in between them for us to be able to essentially go, eh, yeah, you're not really necessary.